Namaste and welcome to day 28 of 30 days of AppRight. In this 30 days series of AppRight, we have been learning about AppRight as well as developing a Flutter application. And if you are following the official series of blog posts, you are also developing a web application with AppRight. And we are also learning various concepts of AppRight. On the day 20th, the official post or the official tutorial will follow with the AppRight deployment with Docker Swarm. AppRight by default is based on a series of Docker microservices so that it's quite easily scalable. And using Docker Swarm, you can easily scale your current AppRight stack. To learn all about it, follow the official post. However, I'm deviating a little bit away from official post and today we will focus on Flutter and AppRight. If you have been following me on either GitHub or AppRight's Discord, you must have seen that I recently published a FlapRight account kit. The FlapRight account kit is just a wrapper around AppRight's account kit that makes it easier to use authentication and other services from AppRight's account service. And why I created this is because lots of you, lots of beginners were having issues implementing the authentication with AppRight properly. And you had to manage your own state, add a state management solution. It was getting complex. So I created this. It's quite simple that allows you to authenticate user and access the user details anywhere in the and using it is just a three step process. First, you add the dependency. Right now, it is only published in Git. If enough people are interested, I'll publish it in the pop.dev. To show your interest, to show your support, please start the GitHub repository. Once you add the dependencies, you need to set up your app right client. Then you need to wrap your material app with flap right account kit and pass it your client. And once you do this, you can access the account kit using context.auth notifier. So account kit provides a change notifier that handles authentication state, user details and etc. So the auth notifier you can access from context.auth notifier or you could always use the inherited widget syntax that is flap right account kit of context. Using that once you have the auth notifier you can check the status. So the status can be one of uninitialized, authenticated, unauthenticated or authenticating and based on that status you can show the appropriate page or appropriate information to your users. Let's see how this is implemented. I have it open in my Visual Studio code. So if you look at the FlapRight account kit, I have an extension to get it from context. So on build context I have an extension. Because of this you can access context.auth notifier. And then here I have the account kit that accepts client and then child both are required. And I set up the auth notifier with client. And we have different auth status here. Auth notifier extends change notifier. So this is simple change notifier, nothing else. And then I have the account, client, status, user, error, loading. So these are different parameters here. And then Initially, the loading is true. This automatically calls get user in the beginning. And if the get user fails, then authentication status is unauthenticated. But if get user is successful, then authenticated status is authenticated. This means no matter how many times you close your app and come back again, this will automatically handle getting the account and setting the appropriate authentication state. All other functionalities like delete session automatically sets the status to unauthenticated these kind of things and just notifies the listener so that you can properly view the authentication state of the user. All right, we have seen the code. We have seen the readme. Let's go to our demo application and then implement this account kit. So let me go. So first we will add the dependency. Let's go to pubspec.aml. Here, let's add dependency. Flap right 
account get get let's pull and here we have a dependency problem because flap write account kit depends on app write 0.6.2 however this depends on app write older version of app write i can just simply remove this and try this the flap write account kit exports the app write dependency itself so adding this we don't need the app write dependency as soon as I updated the SDK, AppRite SDK, I got one error. This is because the delete membership has some breaking changes. That is invite ID has been changed to membership ID. As I discussed while in this episode where we were learning the teams. So let's fix this. Now our code should look good enough. Now we added the dependency. Let us wrap our material app with app right so convert to stateful let us wrap this with flap right account kit client service dot instance dot client let me go to api service and let's make a client getter so here Client get client. So I now have a client getter. So here I should be able to get the the user is defined in both libraries. So now we don't need certain things here. So the flap right account kit comes with proper response model. So we don't need this. Let's delete this and let's remove the import model user now instead of calling this we can simply use context dot auth notifier and then let's go back to let's just copy this example let's copy this and let me paste it here so if authenticated we want home page so if authenticated home page we need to pass user auth notifier dot user we need to fix the type in home page and login page login page that's fine if uninitialized splash page okay let me remove this so this is how simple it is we can get auth notifier from context and then auth notifier dot status we can check the status and based on the authentication status we can show different page now let us fix some of these so we don't have modal user we don't need it anymore this user comes from account kit we don't even need this get user here let let's fix this in a bit so let's go to home.dart first this is not required so this user comes from account kit let's import it profile.dart again user comes from account kit and remove this import Okay, and main dot dot. So home page user user can't be assigned. Okay, so auth notifier dot user. We can say that this if like we are already checking the status and if status is authenticated, we can say that user is non null and we can override the null operator null checking okay also let us remove some of the things here so what i don't need i don't need login i don't need sign up i don't need get user i don't need log out 
Ah, ok. I don't even need create walk to session. Create verification. Let's keep it. So let's switch in home. We are calling logout instead of this. We call context dot auth notifier dot delete session. So by default, the current session is provided so that we don't have to do anything this way. Log the user out. Login. So what do I need to do? Await. Instead of this. Context dot. Auth notifier dot. Yeah, I need to import flap right account kit. Now auth notifier dot yet session. And existing code auth login again here. Context dot auth notifier dot auth to session and provider is Google. Okay, so provider is Google. Right now, this is not providing me, so I have some issues here. This is not yet fixed. So create auth to session was supposed to have like this. So success URL, failure URL and scopes as well. This will be fixed in the next version. Let's keep it as it is. And in profile, instead of get user, we can already access it from context. So no need this, no need get user here. Where are we using the user? No need get user. Let's remove this user from here. Now this user should be of notifier dot user. I can say I can remove this. Let's see, are we using? We are using user here. So here again, I could pass the user. User, so I don't need null operator here. And while calling upload, I could just do upload and pass the user. Okay, this fix this. And finally, in the sign up, instead of this, I could use context dot dot yet. Let's import account kit. Yet. Okay, we have fixed all the errors. We should be able to run it now. So let me hit F5 to run it in the Linux. Okay, okay, let's go back. API dot instance dot get QR. So API service get QR. Where am I calling get QR? Ah, oh, here. So this doesn't require this. Let's reload again. Okay. Now our application is running. We can see 
it is properly authenticated let us log out okay successfully logged out if i hot restart still logged out let me try login successfully logged in without any errors i can view the history i can i should be able to view the profile yeah no issues here so this is how easy it is to get started with flaprite account kit we have we had to remove bunch of stuff because we were replacing our implementation however if you are getting started with a new project it's even easier to set this up so let's look at this you can find the example inside the example folder and if you look at the main dot dot it's quite simple so first we have main and then i have made the my app stateful and in init state i'm setting up client with all the details app right client and then i'm wrapping material app and providing client quite simple and finally in the main screen so the home page is set as main screen and in the main screen i'm just getting the auth notifier from context.auth notifier and then i am checking at the status and showing different page once authenticated you could also check here whether or not users email it email is verified and you could redirect them to the email verification page or some other information based on those things you could easily access auth notifier dot user like we did and there is simple loading page in admin page we can simply get the user from context dot auth notifier dot user and then we can display the users name email and all those things okay login page simple login page where we have a login form and when pressed login we could simply call context dot auth notifier dot create session so to login we need to call the create session from auth notifier don't use the app rights regular account service otherwise the auth notifier will not be updated and will not get any listener notification here to the status always use the context dot auth notifier to perform all the actions related to accounts service so that you get notified regarding the auth state of your user also the whenever you update user preferences or any changes to user profile the auth notifier dot user will automatically update so this is all for today's session i hope you like it also share in comments whether or not you like the account kit or you want some functionalities to it you want to change some functionalities you want to make some fixes you can create a pr you can raise an issue and give it enough stars so that i will publish it in the pop.dev thank you see you again in the next episode